Brian in Arizona. I've been a wrestling fan for over 25 years. One of my all-time favorite matches was Triple H versus Stone Cold Three Stages of Hell at No Way Out 2001. Do you think it was the right move to have Triple H go over in that match? I know Austin would go on to defeat The Rock and turn heel at WrestleMania, but I was always disappointed that Triple H went over. To me, he really had nothing to gain from that victory, and Austin should have won the match based on the steam that he had from his comeback. What are your thoughts? I've always thought the original idea was that Triple H would go babyface after WrestleMania 17, and he would end up becoming the top babyface because The Rock was going off to make a movie. So he was going to be gone for a whole, you know, I don't know if he was gone for a full six months, but Rock was going to be gone for a while. He was going off to Hollywood. So Triple H would go babyface, and he would be the one to feud with Austin for the title, but my impression was that that may have been the plan. Triple H kiboshed the idea, and he wanted to stay heel. It was his choice, uh, his desire to stay heel, and instead of wrestling Austin, to align with him, to be associated with him, instead of feuding against him. Because he, he had to be smart enough to know that he was going to lose in those matches, that he was not going to win the championship. There was no way they were taking that title off of Austin so soon after he won it back at WrestleMania and turned heel. So instead, Triple H got to buddy up with Austin as his, as his equal, as his partner. And then you could always eventually do the babyface turn, which it seemed like they were heading in that direction after a couple of months. But then he tore his quad. That probably would have been your, if I had a guess, I don't know this, but if I had to guess, that would have been your SummerSlam main event in 2001. At least alongside The Rock and Booker T for the WCW title. Instead of Austin and Kurt Angle, you would have had Austin and Triple H for the WWF Championship. So, let's say that was the case. Let's say that was the original thought, that Triple H would would uh, go babyface after, right after WrestleMania, right? That then it makes sense for him to win that match at No Way Out. He beats Austin. They already know Austin is turning heel, right? They had to know in advance. I don't know how long, but they had to know around that time that Austin was going heel at WrestleMania. That's that's kind of a big decision. That's right. That's one of the biggest booking decisions they've ever made. I would like to think they had at least a month heads up that they knew they were going in that direction, and that was not something decided upon two weeks before WrestleMania, because that would be ridiculous. So he beats Austin in No Way Out. They already know he's going heel, so you can beat him, because he's turning anyway. It doesn't even really matter. Plus, you've now set up his top challenger coming out of WrestleMania. Triple H can go on TV and say, hey, I already beat you before, I could do it again. That really is the only way that any of this makes sense to me. That Austin-Triple H three stages of hell match was, it was the blow-off to the whole storyline where it was revealed that Triple H had Austin run down by that car and, and he was on the shelf for almost a full year. It's very odd to think that Triple H, the heel, would win the blow-off to a feud like that and then Austin would go on to win the championship. It only makes sense if they both do a double turn after that. And they didn't do that. And it was it was dumb because they knew Rock was leaving. Think about that. They knew, they had advance notice that The Rock was leaving. He wrestled on Raw the next night, and they knew he was going to be gone for months. And Rock was the de facto number two baby, you might say number one. He was always, when Austin was there, and, and, and you know, during that first babyface run up until the point that he uh, turned heel, he was the number one babyface. Obviously, when he went, went on the shelf for the next surgery, Rock became number one. But until the day he turned heel, Stone Cold wasn't playing uh, second fiddle to anybody on that roster. He was the number one babyface. So with him turning, Rock was going to be the number one babyface. But Rock was going away. He was leaving. How dumb. How dumb not to turn Triple H. And you knew Rock was leaving and Austin had already gone heel. So what did that leave you with? That left you with Undertaker and Kane. As your de facto babyfaces. So it's not a stretch at all for me to believe that the original thought was for Triple H to go babyface, but that he nixed the idea.